Hello YouTube! I'm gonna talk for like a minute before I get into the game proper because this is a game that is rated M for Mature and has a lot of things like pervasive violence throughout and, and the characters say the F word a lot and I'm sure those of you who have been following along my YouTube are probably like sick of hearing me talk about how the characters say the F word a lot but it is true. Um, there's also a bunch of Japanese swearing that happens from like the NPCs but I don't think anybody can understand that. I adore the fact that this is being updated in non-regular amounts. Like, I almost thought Monobender was going by prime numbers until I realized that 49 is just 7 squared, but it's, it's a thought to be had. I can understand it. 9 minutes, 12 seconds. Um, but the one thing uh, that we will be doing is now I'm actually like looking at a pattern if there is a pattern oh no it's murder time but uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I might want to do today also speaking of YouTube today is the day that I spent like a bunch of time um I spent a bunch of time going through my YouTube uploads because instead of setting the queue up to publish once a day, we're setting the queue to publish twice a day. So you will be seeing this on YouTube and it will only be like, it'll only be like a month before you see this on YouTube rather than on Twitch, rather than two and a half months. No big deal. Part-time hero is yelling at me. Why you yell? Oh. I need to go by Onion. I should actually do a bunch of these. Eventually. <laughs> Is onion. <laughs> I need onion. Alright, so here's the question. Oh, I probably need to just go right ahead and do story, because I don't think they're going to let me out to do much of anything else right now, so... <laughs> Welcome. Hey, uh, we actually ain't here for a meal. Huh? Do not tell a soul what you are about to see in here. Is that clear? Through this passage is the Gomi Jewels underground residential district. Huh? Huh? If he had a passage like this, why didn't he tell us sooner? But now he figured he'd wait until after we fought a fucking crane? Yeah. For real. This passage is a secret we have guarded with our lives. Ooh. I mean, sure, but still. If anyone found out about this passage, it would reveal a fatal weakness for the Gomi Jewel. I hope you understand the significance of our sharing it with you. Well, that explains why Jun Gihan called it a gift, I guess. Do you understand the weight now? Yeah, I'll make sure nobody finds out about it. Thank you. I could hardly believe my ears when the call came in. Never thought the day would come that we'd tell an outsider about this passage. 
So if Jun Gi Han is giving you this, he must have great faith in your skills. Faith, huh? For all we know, this road goes straight to hell. Mm -hmm. I think it was a nice gesture. I guess we just gotta get pumped and go through here to save the Gomi Jewel. Then Zhao's gotta come through and spare Nanba. Well done, Kaskasan. But I'm afraid time is of the essence. Why? Is it pretty bad? Yes. The barricade just fell. The Omi Alliance has begun their invasion of Gomi Jewel. Yo! What Song Hui doing? Song Hui is trying to reach y Yutaka Ogikubo. And? What happens if she does? Hmm. That would be up to Ogikubo. I can't say for sure. Wow. Never seen you this tense. I guess it's pretty serious. <laughs> I think he's cuter this way. Don't tease him after he trusted us with this super secret passage. <laughs> I'm glad you did that. Are you? Just be aware. I considered all the risks of doing so beforehand. Huh? If you betray us and try to run, you will all die by my hand. <sighs> I changed my mind. He's not cute. I thought I was doing a dungeon. Yes, sir, I see. Well, if that's what you really want... Then we'll comply. I know you don't have too many options right now. What did Ogikubo say? Kasuga, will you lend us a hand? We only have about two minutes before the Omi arrive. That's not enough time to burn all the evidence of counterfeiting. Wait, you're going to burn it all? Yes, Ogikubo ordered us to pull the plug. There will be no more fake currency made in Ijinjo. None of us realized how serious the Omi Alliance was about destroying the Great Wall. <sighs> that failure is on us. <sighs> mm. Shutting it down won't be enough. That would allow evidence of Ogikubo's involvement to survive. We need to burn it all. That's my decision. Junki Han, see that a healthy fire gets started. Somebody. That will burn down our entire surveillance system, as well as our home, the only safe haven for us in this world. Everyone living here depends on it. I know. I'm aware of the consequences. Ah. Then please, forgive me for questioning you. You're really going to burn it all down to save Ogikubo? Even if it costs you everything? Ogikubo was the only one who ever gave a shit about us. He carved us out a home. It wasn't perfect, but... We owe him so much. I'm doing this to pay back our debt to him. I wouldn't even call it a true sacrifice. I love the theme of loyalty throughout this game. You want us to help you? Not with the burning. I just need you to stall the Omni Alliance. Keep them here, at this spot. It won't be for long. We just need enough time to get the fire going. I don't know. Please, we need you. Songui, please, don't. Yeah, enough already. Stand up straight. Huh. To be honest, I never really liked you. And I hope you realize we don't owe Ogikubo shit. But a woman as proud as her doesn't bow without a hell of a good reason. <laughs> Ooh. She's finally speaking from the heart. This is as real as it gets. Do you understand? Uh. I do now. Sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of dense when it comes to women. Not me. I'm good in that area. In case anybody was wondering. Shut up, Adachi. So you'll, help. you'll stall them? Yep. We're doing this. psycho -san. Yeah? <sighs> Thank you.
How graceful is that woman that she's walking on heels on that? I just now noticed. Like, ladies walking on heels on a grating and still manages to do the hip sachet. That is a powerful woman. Like, like, I don't know if there's anybody in the audience right now that wears heels with any sense of regularity, but if you could clarify just how difficult walking with heels on that would be. So everybody healed, everybody's healed. Everybody's ranked 10. We've got some powerful stuff ready to go. Here goes, we fight the Omi until the Gomi Jewel burns yep. down. This is crazy, but we said we'd do it. No turning back now. Yo. Nanba gave them the location. You know, he only did it to try to get to his brother. He had to play the cards he was dealt. Not much other choice. I know. Oh well. They'll be here any minute. You ready? Here they are. Hey, I recognize most of them. Hi, Nanda. Hi, Dickface. You guys aren't dead? Shouldn't you be splattered on a wrecking ball? Nope. Lucky you. You get to fight us again. It's just crazy you're still alive. Me? Yeah. Think about it. First, you were shot by Captain Arakawa. Isn't that right? None of your business. I mean, by all accounts, you should be dead. It doesn't make sense. What do you mean by all accounts? I heard Arakawa had his own men dispose of your body. <sighs> the next time I see him, I should ask him why you're still alive. Well, why you were alive. <sighs> Ogasawarasa, the printer's in there. They're trying to burn the evidence. Ishiro-san. <laughs> no wonder there were hardly any Komi Jewel guards. They were all busy barbecuing the place. Ichiban, move. What are you doing? We're about to lose all the evidence. Nobody's getting past me. Sorry, but I made a promise to Song Hui. You did what? I swore to her that I would buy her enough time to torch the joint. And Namba, this is for your sake too. You son of a... Ichiban! Hurry up and take them out! This time, I'll make sure you die! Don't get in my way. Oh, fuck you, creepy kid. Take your best shot. I have secrets too. Hey, Mary to Minecraft. Hope you're doing well. I got this. Don't get right back at you. Here we go. You want to get hurt? 110 damage on it. <laughs> okay. That's going to be tricky. Try this on your side. How do you like me now? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get caught. I wouldn't underestimate me. I'm not backing down. Give it up already. Come on now. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go. I got this. You're you sure you can beat me? Let's go. Oh, they summoned backup. I got you. 
I am very thankful that that just missed. Good. Okay. Right. My God, that leaves me worried that this could be like a one and done if he decides to pull his gun on Ichiban. I'm not backing down. You're weak to cold. You're weak to cold. That's good to know. They're both weak to cold, or maybe it's that Namba's weak to alcohol. Who knows? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to use that self buff because that's a really scary. It's really scary. Where's Where's the lunch? It's lunch time. Yeah, really good. Okay, um. Oh, that's a significant defense jump. Good. Pain in the ass. Let's go. I'm not backing down. Happy birthday. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. I am secret too. You're in it now. All right, cool. I have a feeling that's important. Wait. Wow! So I wonder what triggers the counters. Is it just inflicting debuffs on him that does it? Come on. That was the angriest scent that bento eating I've ever seen. Actually, I feel like this is just going to be the best chance, the best damage for the for the MP. All right, thirty MP translates to. 500 damage. No, he counters that too. Don't get caught. And now, mm, fear. Okay, um. You're gonna be in a world. 
poison. It's time for the Plague of Pincers. It is good. I got this. Right back at you. I'm up. Wow, that hurt really badly. Good lord. Um That's good damage. Unfortunately, so is that. The the group fear is really what's causing me problems here. You wanna go? Come on. The group fear is bad. You sure you can beat me? Thank time. But unfortunately it's like almost necessary at this point. Actually, let's also lower his attack and defense. That sounds like a great idea. The man baby patriarch. Nice miss. I'm cured. Right. Let's go. I'm not backing down. I'll show you. You're gonna get stomped. Okay. Right back at Ow. Let's get it done. Let's see. You wanna go? Check this out. Here we go. Let's go. I ride in on your side. Take your <laughs> I do like him missing repeatedly. It's very good. Right. You're in it now. Your turn again, huh? Actually, that was that was a pretty great exchange there. I cannot tell you how hard it is to uh, perfect guard a gunshot. It's kind of it's it's kind of tricky. Tachi, no! Oh god, I gotta I gotta get a I gotta get a healer back on the team. Nobody is in, like, a healer kind of thing, so I need to fix that. Let's go! You're in it now! <laughs> 
All right, so I should uh, wait until he's done, like, wait until he's done with the whole countering everything. It's fine, I can spend a turn to get pumped. Just in case. Don't get caught, I got this. This is where it really counts. You're gonna be in a yeah. world. Are you sure you wanna get hurt? Alright, now I think it's safe to do. Going in. You sure you can beat me? I'm not that you serious right now? Nope, he, he sure did get a counter. Here we go. You sure you wanna get hurt? Is I, I... Try this on for size. Wow, that is a very fast. He didn't. I think it's just a percentage chance that he has a countering. I don't think it's like a passive if X then Y. It's just sometimes he decides he wants to do it and sometimes he doesn't. I am so glad I did a bit of extra grinding before this, because this would have been impossible otherwise. I remember my first attempt at this game, and I died so much on this boss. Then again, I was, I was like level 16 the last time I played this game and got to this point somehow. That is a lot of experience. Oh, and I got a passion bandana. Nice. Nice. Desperate throw. I did it! Yes. Alluring kiss. <laughs> you fuckers. Shit. Shit! I don't like the looks of that smoke! Let's bounce! Cowards! Where are you going? <laughs> Fools, this isn't over yet. What? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Doesn't say a thing, just walks up and kicks him in the nuts. Since you came all this way, allow us to show you some hospitality, Ogasawara-san. This is intense. It really does emphasize how it looked like a spider web. Namba. All of this is going to be lost to history now. All the counterfeit bills and my brother. You had to wait until the very end to stab me in the back. Namba, I wish I could have saved something that would have led you to your brother. But your life was on the line, man. Shut up! 
If you ask me, Namba, you have very good friends. You call them friends? Yes. And I can help you with your problem. You want to know where your brother is? Huh? He was very close to discovering the truth of the fake bills in Ijincho. I knew that if he discovered that truth, I'd have to kill him. But I also knew that killing him would be a terrible waste of his talent. So I found a way to use him. Where is he now? <laughs> He's... residing among the outcasts of our residential district. He's not allowed to leave, of course. No, but he's safe and well. Really? What the fuck? Why did you tell us? I, I know it would have been risky, but still. Far too risky. We couldn't tell you, and we especially couldn't tell Namba-san. He's been a prime target of the Ejin-3 ever since he found out about the counterfeiting. Well, I do see what you mean. You ought to realize the only reason we're telling you now is because your friends helped me by risking their lives. And they did that for you, not me. Just so you know. So what do you say, Namba? I can't just take her word for it. I need to see him for myself. Let's get the hell out of here then. I really don't feel like getting burnt to a crisp. Yeah, stand up, let's go! What do you think this place is? The public jail? Uh, don't worry, we won't be staying long. I just couldn't think of anywhere else we could take a guy we kidnapped. <laughs> Did it have to be here, though? Sorry. You're not gonna torture him, are you? I can't allow that. No, we're not gonna torture him. This guy's the director of Bleach Japan. He led an Omi Alliance army into Ijincho. Thanks to him, the Great Wall of Muscle's about to come down. Is that true? Yeah. So do you really want to let him walk out of here? Think about it. Mm, not really. Just be gone by morning. We got it. Thanks. Boy, do I have a lot of questions for you, Ogasawara-san. Lucky it's a long time till sunrise. That is the single most, like, threatening thing I've ever heard come from Ichiban. Are we on chapter 10? So the funny thing is, is that I think that like here, yeah, chapter 10, we're now officially at the part that I was at in my previous playthrough, if, if I'm correct. Like we're pretty much all of this is gonna be new to me now. First Yo, time reactions, baby. Number. He ran off to go see his brother. Can't it's blame really him. really cute how he wants to check on him. Yeah. I couldn't be happier for the guy. Uh, same with me. I didn't think he'd make it, to tell you the truth. It's nice to hear some good news for once. Yeah. Even if it means Nanba will probably be saying goodbye soon. Makes sense. 
He only came here to look for his bro. Not like he's got much reason to hang with us anymore. Yeah. I realize that. In the meantime, we need to get this guy talking. Let's get started then. <laughs> Ungag him. Don't you dare shout. Try anything funny, you'll catch hell. Try to run, you get hit. Don't answer a question, you get hit. That's how it has to be. Now, how did you fall in with the Omi Alliance? I notice when you tell them to jump, they ask how high. Why is that? Just noticed you could still see the tape mark on his face. Remember the rules for not answering a question? Let's not resort to beating him just yet. Huh? But if we go easy on him, he's just gonna... As we speak, the Omi Alliance may well be looking for you. But it's gonna take them some time. How competent are they? Will they get here before we finish peeling off your fingernails? Ask him what he thinks about forcing us to burn down our own home. Huh. Personally, I won't be stopping at just the fingernails. <laughs> you get it? We're serious. Now tell us how you're connected to the Omi Alliance. Why are you the one holding their leash? I'm not the one holding the leash. I didn't really think you were. Who is then? You know. Ryo Aoki. Yes. You all know him? Who doesn't know the governor? The real question is, what's his real name? Oh, don't play dumb. We've done our homework. Uh, what? Masato Arakawa. Uh, how do you know that name? A long time ago, I knew him as the young master. He knew me as Ichi. Back when the Arakawa family was still in the Tojo clan. So, Ryo Aoki really is Masato Arakawa, huh? I met him almost 20 years ago, when we were studying abroad in America. He was majoring in political economics. To answer Shark's your question, attack. Mana, no, I do Was not going know by Cardi Rio number Alki six is. Met? Yes. I didn't learn his other name until later. Was he in a wheelchair? No, but I heard he used to be, which actually I don't understand. Was he really? Yeah. I'm gonna then, guess that Jun Gi Han eventually becomes a US. party member. You can get anything there if you have enough money, even unapproved medical procedures. So he had money? He certainly lived a lavish lifestyle. I could tell he was wealthy right away. I figured it couldn't hurt to get to know the guy better. Kiss ass. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I mean, sure, I knew he was rich, but I didn't know he was that rich. And it was shocking to learn about all his connections to the criminal underworld. I was just amazed at all the opportunities he'd grown up with. And yet... Uh... What? He wasn't satisfied with any of it. Not even a little bit. He wanted something completely different. What was that? Front-facing power. Front-facing power? That was his term for it. He used to say not everyone can be controlled by Yakuza threats or bribes. 
People like that can only be controlled with front-facing power. Power you could see. Basically, popularity. Popularity? What, you think that's something only a teenager would want? Well, sure. Then you don't understand democracy. Under that system, it's the only path to power. As long as you're well-liked by the majority, you can get away with anything. I hate politics. I hear that, Ichiban. His money and criminal connections he called his rear-facing power. He said without the front-facing part, his power wasn't complete. So he decided... To become governor of Tokyo. Yes. He said the governor had the most front-facing power of anyone in the country. Does he? Isn't the prime minister above him? The prime minister is just a figurehead chosen internally by the citizens' liberal party. So essentially, you only become prime minister by having a few friends on the inside. But to be governor of Tokyo, that takes real popularity. Ten million people have to like you. Every vote you get represents a tiny bit of the power you have. But what about the power of money? The prime minister controls the national budget. <laughs> But Tokyo's budget alone is 14 trillion yen. That's more than some countries. So the governor has both an incredible amount of money and the support of the public. Front-facing power indeed. Who can compete with that? Ryo Aoki knew all of this. He wanted that governor's seat long before I met him. But I was happy to become a partner in his grand plan. Step one was founding Bleach Japan. <laughs> You think you're his partner, huh? You sure you're not his servant? Take it from me. The young master can really crack a whip. <laughs> but yeah, I was just like... I, I think the big clue that Joongi Han became a uh, party member was as I was looking through the equipment like I think in crafting I kept seeing this one class that seemed to be represented by what looked like brass knuckles and that either made me think like fisticuffs or yeah, kind of like 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 and not necessarily an enforcer in the way of like a police enforcer but a more underground kind of enforcer and that's just that's just where my guess went plus plus the dude has white hair in a jrpg was it his idea to form bleach japan or was it yours it was his and getting rid of all the gray zones was him too? Yes. Although when he first explained it, <laughs> I thought it was pretty naive. But you went with it anyway. Why? Because I knew he could use the Arakawa family to recruit lots of people fast. It was an advantage no other political figure had. I knew that then, and I was right. Pretty soon, he was delivering results. For me, following him was a win-win situation. <laughs> The young master knows exactly how to use puppets like you. Guys who get all weak in the knees just for some cash and power. <clears throat> <laughs> Come on. Can't expect me not to make fun of a suck-up like you. So what happened next? Early on, people thought of Bleach Japan as a small advocacy group of nice young idealists. Our only goals were to eradicate corruption and make society fair and equal. We marched around the city, shouting those demands over and over. Really? Sounds like a waste of time and money. I thought so too at first, but Aoki knew exactly what he was doing. He had his ear to the ground. He knew what society wanted. What do you mean? Eliminating corruption, creating a fair society. Words like that have a lot of appeal. People thought it was naive, sure. But deep down, it was exactly what they wanted. So people would praise us for our morality, if not our practicality. <laughs> Crazy, huh? 
A bunch of youths who'd never worked hard, shouting for the world to do as they said. But all the attention made them feel accomplished. I thought people only did that shit because it's trendy. Exactly my point. We made it trendy, and that attracted people who wanted to seem hip. Those types are everywhere. You can hardly walk down the street without bumping into them. They came to us in droves. The organization grew bigger and bigger. We even paid a bunch of women to join so we'd be gender balanced, and that attracted more people. It was funny to see those girls bring in guys who claimed to be so passionate about the cause. <laughs> Hell, that's how we got Kume, now that I think about it. <laughs> it took some time, but eventually we had members all across the country. <laughs> that gave us an unexpected bonus. What bonus? Turns out, when you attack Grey Zones, the corrupt local politicians start coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> They just can't resist. They're too addicted to money and influence. So a bunch of corruption was going on. It was so easy to grease their palms, or even blackmail them. I mean, so often we would just stumble across info that would completely ruin them if it went public. You call that a bonus? It's a bonus when you can make politicians do whatever you want. <laughs> Makes you even worse than the politicians. How many members does Bleach Japan have now? If you count all permanent employees at every branch, we're 500 strong. Wow, 500 tight asses. But then there's the 100,000 people who join us for marches. 100,000? Yep. And here you have their leader tied up and pissed off. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. May I ask you a question now, Kasuga-san? Shoot. Why are you here? Aren't you ex Arakawa? You know, if you want back in the family, I could put a word in with the governor. Hmm. Think about it. How do you benefit from helping the Ejin Three anyway? Why not leave all this trouble behind you? Yeah, trouble's a good word for it. Right? So, why not let me go now? It'd make both our lives easier. Look, I don't want back in the family. But I'm no ally of the Aging Three, either. No? I just want to get the guy who killed my boss. In fact, when all this started, I didn't know a damn thing about Mabuchi or your plan. <clears throat> get the picture now, kiss-ass? We're not doing this for ourselves. We're doing it because someone picked a fight, and we're just making sure justice is served. Unfortunately for you, you're the guy who picked the fight. <clears throat> hey, you're the one who asked the dumb question. Think before you open your mouth next time. So weird to see Casca smoking a cigarette. Ready to move on, Ogasawara san? You and the young master got Leech Japan off the ground. What came next? After he got it working on a national scale, he started Phase 2. He sought out media attention constantly. Another brilliant move. Press flocked from all over to interview the charismatic young man behind Bleach Japan. He was front and center every day. He even went on some talk shows. Don't mind <laughs> it me having he had a, a great snack smile. While he was willing a... to flash at every camera. While we're in movie mode here. Seriously? What does it matter if you look good on TV or not? Appearances are everything. It matters a lot, even more than what you say. When it comes to popularity, looks are everything. Fine. Is this story anywhere close to the present day yet? Yes, actually. 
In 2010, Aoki ran for the House of Counselors. When he announced his campaign, he said he was leaving Bleach Japan. But that was only true on paper. Sure, we all know he still controlled it through you, his loyal dog. Come on, keep talking. With the endorsement of the Citizens Liberal Party, he won that election in a landslide. And two years ago, he ran for governor. Was that a landslide too? I wouldn't call it that. Why not? It was more than a landslide. His popularity was off the charts. He had loads of funding. On top of all that, the Arakawa family dug up dirt on all his rivals. Truthfully, it was basically impossible for him to lose. The election was practically a formality. Mm. And afterwards, he just kept riding the wave. Six months post-election, he exterminated the Tojo clan with the Kamurocho 3K plan. Of course, he only pulled that off because the Arakawa family was feeding him Tojo secrets. Did that happen around the same time as this? Yes. And people loved him even more when they saw him wiping out the Yakuza. He hardly wiped out the Yakuza. The Tojo just got replaced by the Omi Alliance. That's true. Once the Tojo clan was gone, he opened the gates wide for the Omi. I imagine being made the acting captain of the Omi was a fitting reward. Why didn't the people complain about the Omi coming in? The Omi seizure of Kamurocho went down quietly. No mess, no fuss. Everyone just let the Omi slide peacefully onto the vacant throne. Did they even notice what was going on? <laughs> I think they figured every town has its share of thugs, Tojo clan or not. As long as crime is low overall, they don't care if the thugs are Omi, or just lone actors. So Aoki's plan worked perfectly. Yeah. It was the rise of Arakawa, both father and son securing total power. The son is governor of Tokyo, and his daddy's the acting captain of Japan's largest gang. Pretty sweet deal, huh? Hmm. Wait, hold the phone. What? Maybe society didn't care about the Omi invasion, but I bet the police did. You really trying to convince me the TPD stayed quiet during this whole thing? <laughs> they did stay quiet. And trust me, they had their reasons. Like what? Well, in the absence of the Tojo clan, the power vacuum attracted all sorts of non-Yakuza gangs. They were two-bit thugs going on little crime sprees, trying to get while the getting was good. They had no connection to each other, no patterns, so the police didn't know what to do. Soon, the crime clearance rate in Kamurocho was taking a nosedive. <laughs> but they knew if the Omi Alliance came in and took control, it would reduce the petty crimes. Plus, the governor would be able to liaise between the police and the Omi. It was a win-win. <laughs> ironic, isn't it? The cops wiped out the Yakuza only to find they needed more Yakuza. And they weren't finished cavorting with criminals after all that. The commissioner's still taking Arakawa bribes. Huh? So according to you, the middleman between the cops and the Arakawa family is Aoki. <laughs> so there's another three-way stalemate in Kamurocho. Only instead of the EG-3, this one has the cops, the governor, and the Yakuza. <laughs> what the hell kind of point are you trying to make? The Omi didn't just stroll into Kamurocho. They had to have paid off the police commissioner. You don't know that for sure. Don't play dumb. If the police did nothing while the Omi replaced the Tojo clan, it's because someone at the top ordered them to. And Horono Uchi ain't the type of guy to give that order for no reason. There was something in it for him. <laughs> what proof do you have? I'm asking you for the proof. You gotta have something. Well? No, I don't. And I wouldn't know about it even if it does exist. After all, I'm just the governor's loyal dog, aren't I? Yeah, son of a bitch is what you are! Dachi-san, calm down. <sighs> <sighs> now that the young master is governor of Tokyo, is he going after Ichincho? It seems like that's what he's doing. Yes, but his target isn't Ichincho itself. 
It's Utaka Ogikubo. Ogikubo? Yes. He's the only cabinet member who's not totally cowed by Aoki. The rest of the cabinet does whatever Aoki says because of how popular he is. But Utaka Ogikubo, chair of the Citizens Liberal Party, is still holding out. A politician who actually has a spine? Now that's a rare thing. Yo! Agreed. And he's stubborn. Under normal circumstances, he'd be a lost cause. But Aoki has come to know some things about him. Like how he also has some sway in the criminal underworld. Aoki has proof of that? No. He just recognizes the signs. Like Aoki, Oki Kubo rose to power through shady connections. When you do that, there's a telltale smell that lingers. Aoki recognized what he was smelling, that's all. And if he gets Oki Kubo out of power, then he'll be truly unstoppable. But it can't be easy for him to remove the guy. It's not. Aoki wasn't even going to try unless he knew he'd be successful. But he knew he would be once he smelled that criminal element on Oki Kubo. Then he knew they both shit in the same hole. A crude way to put it, but what can I say? So you were sent to the Eugene Show branch of Bleach Japan to help make use of this dirt on Oki Kubo? And the first thing you did was buy off Mabuchi. Let me guess. You told them you had the Omi Alliance's support. He couldn't resist that kind of bait. You told him he'd get in good with them if he helped you. Mabuchi's never liked the way Jincho is divvied up among the Ijin Three. And with his high rank, he's the de facto leader of all the other members who also don't like it. Sounds like he was the perfect prey for you. Prey what you sent out to kill our boss, and made it look like a suicide. That murder got the Ijin Three all riled up and suspicious of each other. Whose big-brained idea was that? It was Mabuchi's. He knew it would bring down the Great Wall. Myself, I was never one for murder. Oh yeah? Well, an innocent guy is still dead. If you didn't give the order, then someone above you did, right? Say it! It was your boss, Ryo Aoki, wasn't it? Yes, it was him. I told him about Mabuchi's plan. I didn't think he'd go for it because it was so risky. In fact, I proposed a different plan of my own. But unfortunately, he saw nothing wrong with Mabuchi's plan. He was willing to accept high risk for high return. And he was eager to get the jump on Ogi Kubo. The young master saw nothing wrong with killing a man? It would have just been another murder, except someone had to pry open the crack it made in the Great Wall. You talking about me? <laughs> yes, but don't take it personally. It was always going to come to this eventually. Mabuchi wasn't going to stop until he had an excuse to start a war with the Seiryu clan. She's right. Our plan was to provide the excuse. And in the chaos, find something to connect Ogikubo to Ijincho's criminals. Sure enough, we found a counterfeiting enterprise that's been supporting the Ijin 3 for decades. Jackpot. Yeah, don't take too much pride in that. You had a hell of a lucky break. <laughs> yes, we did. We were lucky that you're bad at choosing friends, because it was Nanba who told us. He told us about the fake money and where the heart of the operation was. <laughs> it was all due to him that we were able to mobilize such a large number of Omi. I would love to thank him. Where is he, by the way? We ain't telling you. We're the ones asking questions. <laughs> Such a shame. Songhui, what should we do now? Our counterfeiting business is burned and gone. So Ogi Kubo's already lost a major source of his power. That alone is a victory for Aoki. And as far as what will happen to Ijincho, the ball's in his court. The Queen of the Komi Jewel is so calm in the face of impending doom. Excuse me? This city will meet the same fate as Kamurocho. What are you on about? 
Soon Ijincha will be under complete Omi control. No more Great Wall of Muscle to stop it. Don't you see that? <laughs> Hey! Hey! It's the Yakuza! They're coming here! Shit! How'd they find us? How many are there? I saw five of them, but it looked like they were on their phones. They're probably calling for backup! You probably could have warned us a tad sooner. Hey! Isn't he... <laughs> I've got a sharp nose for rats, especially when they're all in one nest. She. Sorry. I couldn't protect you. No, Chief. We should be apologizing to you. We will. But you better let Captain Sawashiro know who rescued you. You got that? Fine, just hurry up! Captain Sawashiro? All right, I'm pumped! Let's exterminate all the vermin! Why does everybody have guns all of a sudden? Everybody's got guns now. Except me. Oh, y'all look like you're gro grouped together. Phenomenal. Y'all have guns! I just like that y'all have guns. I like that you two are standing together. Both of you get iced. Damn it. Whatever, action economy. Here we go. Try this on I got to learn that that is so fast. Check this out. I'll show you what up. Going in. Happy birthday. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Look at me go. I'm getting stronger. Deceptive call. <laughs> we showed them. Unfortunately, I think they showed us. Huh? Why do you say that? Where's our captive? They took off with Agasawara. He's gone? Yes. That was hardly our victory. Whatever. I'd already asked him everything I wanted to. Sorry about the fighting, Chief. Well... My people and I don't have much right to complain. <laughs> Seeing as we're not supposed to be here anyway. However... Yeah? Next time you kidnap someone, take them somewhere else. Totally. Uh, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna kidnap someone again. Probably. Hoshino, 
From the Seiryu clan. The chairman? He's never called this number before. Then it can only be bad news. Yeah. I see. Not exactly. No, Comey Jewel's system is out of commission. For once, I only know as much about what's going on as you do. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan's rank and file is probably real pissed off right now. That's what Kotsuka was saying. When will we have it back up and running? Huh. Now there's a question. I won't be able to say until I survey the damage, but it definitely won't be anytime soon. Yes, that's fine. What did the chairman say? The Seiryu clan quelled their infighting. Captain Takabe handled it. Really? He made it out okay? Was there anything else? Yes. The problem with the Yokohama Leoma. Hoshino hasn't been able to reach out at all. Huh? This whole time? Yeah. For all he knows, Zhao could be dead. That's why he was asking us to use our surveillance system. He wanted us to check on Zhao. Can any pieces of that system even be saved? I doubt it. Damn. And you know what else? The last time Zhao called us, he told us over the phone there was a coup d'etat happening in the Lumang. I wish I could use my guys, but there's sort of a coup going on. Mabuchi's been whipping all the boys into a frenzy. They ain't happy the counterfeiting was kept secret. Ah, shit, I'm out of time for chit-chat. Looks like we got another job ahead of us, Songkwe-san. And what makes you say us? Really? After Zhao put your Komi Jewel ahead of himself, even though he was in danger? He was the one who told us to help you instead of his own group. Now he's in even worse trouble, and you're just gonna leave him hanging? A fair point. Besides, if you want to resist the Nomi takeover, you can't afford to lose him. That's my take anyway. Jeez, Kasuga, well, are you gonna head over to Zhao's right this second or something? Probably. Surely not. Damn right I am. Well, just, just hold on a second, would you? Staging a rescue in the middle of a coup d'etat is insane. Yeah, I understand. So, you coming or not? <laughs> it's insane. Sure is. Said anything about me sitting out? I'm so close to cornering Horinouchi. Look at us. We all started in different places, each of us on our own mission. But now they're all coming together. Just like Dragon yeah, Quest. That's right. And that's because we had each other's backs. So what do you say, Songkwe san You're practically part of the crew. Do, do you have do, does does Songkwe join the party? Kasuga. I I would I would be very happy if Songkwe joined the party. I think what we could do if the Komi Jewel started taking this alliance seriously. <sighs> okay. Now we're talking. Fucking a. Now let's go and see if Xiao needs our help. Hey, you never know. He might be fine. Then we can just forget it. Now there's an idea I like. Just forgetting it. Gamba? I just got back from seeing my brother. Everything Song Hui said about him was true. Plus, they set him free. Nice! That's awesome, man! I'm real happy for you. Thanks. What's up? He's still got the long face and all. There's just something I want to say. Okay, shoot. Ichiban, you need to understand something. Ijin Cho is gonna be what it's gonna be. Leave it alone. What? I mean, why do you even care what happens to the Ijin 3? Why are you doing all this for them? Why not just get out of this dump? Why should you keep sticking your neck out for them? <laughs> You're starting to sound like you care about me. I just think you need to stop playing hero. That's why you end up getting used. Especially by guys like me. Used? I don't see it that way. You did what you had to do to help your brother. I get that. But doing what I had to for my brother? That led to bad things. It made me help the scumbags who killed Nonomiya. But that was... But nothing! <clears throat> I can't wash the blood off my hands. They're not the only thing that's stained. It feels like my entire soul is tainted. Like I'm branded forever. All because of this goddamn town. 
Honestly, I'm just sick of this shithole. <sighs> Namba. Nothing good is gonna come from staying here and helping these people. You'll eventually end up just like me. You don't want that, do you? <sighs> come on, Ichiban. Think of yourself for once. You did 18 years of hard time. Don't let other people's shit keep you a prisoner. I'm not the only one stuck in the shit, man. This whole city is. But Ryu Aoki and Okikubo dragged everyone into their stupid power struggle. They started this whole mess. I'm just one guy caught in the middle of it. And keep in mind, I ain't just some random outsider. Me and Aoki, we basically have the same dad. Aoki would never put it this way, but we're brothers. And that's how I feel, at least. So I got some responsibility for him. I can't just walk away when he's causing all these problems. <laughs> You've already gone way beyond the call, man. I could say the same about you. We aren't even brothers, but look how hard you're trying to save me right now. You're a true friend, man. Admit it. Don't say that. I'm nobody's friend. You know what I just realized? We're not even all that different. Well, oh, please. No, really. You, me, Adachi-san, Sachan. We all just want to know the truth. That's been the core of everything we do. Figuring out what's real in a world full of lies. What do you think of that? Am I talking out my ass? I don't know, but I've heard enough. I'm leaving. Fine. But I won't say goodbye. Because I think we'll be seeing each other again soon. Call on me, and I'll come running, pal. Take care of yourself. Should we stop him? Uh, he said his piece. I even see where he's coming from. Kinda. <sighs> well, that's that. Let's fucking do this! <laughs> I'm ready. Songhui, I apologize if I'm overstepping, but... ...shouldn't you stay behind? And why would I do that? Our people in the Komijul are scared and confused right now. And I believe your leadership in person would be a great comfort. Hmm. Please. They need you. Sounds like you got a lot on your plate, Songhui. It's cool. I know we were just pressing you for help, but you got your people to take care of. I do. But it doesn't mean I'm going to abandon you, Kasuga. Jungi Han will stay with you. That way we can keep in touch. Seriously? Well, that'd be great! I am at your service, Ichiban Kasuga. If Zhao hadn't sent you to us, we couldn't have fulfilled our duty to Okikubo. So we will do whatever's within our power to help you. Huh. Jungi Han is a very capable man. Hell yeah, he is. Thanks. Kaskasan. From what the Gonijul can tell, Zhao was last seen in his restaurant. I see. You mean King Jin? Hopefully he's still alive. <laughs> Junki Han's extensive training and covert operations have given him a tactical edge over charm, brainwash, and rage. <laughs> His job is a hitman. Okay, that makes the brass knuckles make sense. Well, that episode was mostly, like, exposition, but by goodness, did it need to happen. This is exciting. This is great.